Hello everybody, this is General Snivy, and welcome back to more of the Earthbound Blind playthrough. In today's session, we're going to be doing a little bit of backtracking today. And the reason why is, upon finding the third Your Sanctuary at the end of the last stream, I never found the second. So, I'm going to be doing a little bit of searching around the previous town... The second town, I can't remember the name of off the top of my head, but either way, we're going to be heading back that way. I have a pretty good idea where it could be. There was a cave in the Happy Happy Village that uh, I didn't explore because... <laughs> um, I didn't even think about going in there. But, yeah, that's where we're going to go to first. And after we get done, after we get done there, we will be heading towards Foreside. But of course, we need to get through, first of all. Get... We just need to get through this and, uh... Also make our way all the way back. It's gonna be a bit of a trek, but it will be a fun one, let me tell ya. Also, uh, one thing that's worth noting is we did recently have a new follower at the very start of the stream during the initial countdown, so... I'm going to go ahead and play the notification again, if I can. And if it'll play, it should play again momentarily. But, uh, if you can see in the chat, our newest follower is Goriest Punk. So, yeah, Goriest Punk is our newest follower. Thank you so much for the follow, and I hope you enjoy your stay here on this channel. And I'm glad that you enjoy my content. I'll continue to deliver the best content I possibly can. Oof. Really? Really, dude? There we go. At least the violent roaches aren't uh, that big of a threat anymore. But that still doesn't mean uh, bigger threats are uh, anywhere near the horizon. <laughs> Let me tell you. Like some of the plain crocs here, they're still very powerful and very threatening. I mean, we basically have to take them out immediately by using the power of freezing. Gotta freeze them in order to make sure they don't cause any major damage. Which is exactly what they can do, and again, with the audacity thing. Oh, dang it. You know what, screw it. I'm probably not gonna worry about audacity anymore. Seeing as I can still extract the uh, audio from uh, the stream here and still put it into uh, Audacity myself and convert that into WMV or WAV. WMV is a video file type, not uh, audio. WAV is a audio file type, much like MP3. But, yeah. The reason why... Right. What? The reason why I brought that up is because of the fact that I am trying to create uh, captions for uh, my live streams. Granted, it doesn't always work, especially some, with some of the longer streams that last like four hours plus. <laughs> like ones that uh, last for like seven hours or so. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I did actually have a stream that lasted seven hours. And the second longest stream I've ever done was uh, the final play session of Final Fantasy VIII, which lasted six plus hours. And I was not expecting to stream that long. But <laughs> it just happened. There was a lot that needed to be done for uh, the long stream of Final Fantasy VIII. And the longest stream to date is over seven hours long. Almost seven and a half hours. <laughs> Uh, and that was from, uh, speedrunning Banjo-Kazooie. And I think that one is from my most current PB, or personal best. Which is, uh, 331-something. I think it's a 331.40. So, that's pretty neat. And I'm definitely looking to improve that time this coming week. I've learned of, uh, several, uh... Pretty common speedrunning tricks of the game, but even so, <laughs> I 
I still need to master the movement and fully memorize Rusty Bucket Bay before I can even consider going for the lowest time possible. At least on Xbox. And that is, uh, that is learning the entire route and learning, uh, everything that there is to know before I even think about doing, uh, the glitch that everyone loves to do to get the lowest time possible, known as Fiery Furnace Moveset, otherwise known as FFM. And why am I talking about speedrunning tactics in Banjo-Kazooie when I'm playing Earthbound? <laughs> and... I figure I'd give something uh, worth talking about here. So, why the heck not? So, uh, following up from yesterday... Hmm. Okay, now that I realize this, it looks as though, uh... The, uh, Streamlabs is not replaying the previous alert. So, that kind of sucks. Oh, well. That's okay. It is here in the chat, and it's also uh, listed under recent events. So, yeah. And I also gave my thanks to uh, our newest follower anyway, so... Everything should be alright with the world. Wow, Jeff? Why is it that uh, he is hardly doing any damage? <laughs> Perhaps the reason is because his weapon is not the most powerful. And it's not like I can, uh, really... It's not like, uh, I can really purchase any new weapons for Jeff right now anyway. So, it's not like that matters all that much. Even so, though, I still would like to get Jeff a new weapon before reaching Foreside. But I don't think that's going to happen, unless I somehow uh, find a uh, shop or a drugstore that sells weapons w just before I reach Foreside. And in order to reach Foreside, we need to cross. We need to cross the vast desert, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be filled with pretty dangerous enemies. And considering that the uh, many deserts of uh, many different video games I played over the years, deserts are freaking huge. As huge as a freaking ocean. Like the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean. Seriously. Deserts are huge. And basically every video game I played a couple I can name off off the top of my head are, are Dry Dry Desert, uh, The Great Sand Sea, and I did not mean to go down that ladder. And if you want to know what deserts I'm talking about, the first one I mentioned was from uh, uh, Paper Mario, and the second one was from The Last Remnant. Anywho, since bringing the, the third Your Sanctuary thing, it looks like this town is fully restored. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Thanks. Peace, love. You too, dude. I really didn't think you, those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? <laughs> I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? Of course. Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The business can go through the tunnel now. That's awesome. Awesome to see that the business is now booming in this town. The town is officially saved. Thanks to Ness and his friends. <laughs> I was going to say the Powerpuff Girls, but yeah, that's just not going to work here. <laughs> and when I say Powerpuff Girls, I mean the original OG one, not from 2016. Those can go in the trash. Or so I hear. <laughs> Seriously, not a lot of people like P Powerpuff Girls 2016. And honestly, I don't blame them from what I've seen. And, of course, my internet decides to take a frickin' dump out of god dang nowhere. <sighs> wow, what a long walk through this long, long tunnel. But, heh. But even so, it may be a long walk, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Alright. 
Now, before we... Actually, what am I even saying? Of course, it's gonna take... I was like, what? What happened? Why did I stop? It's because I hit a wall. Like, the very corner of a wall. While trying to move diagonally. These things happen, unfortunately, sometimes. Well, despite me not finding the second your sanctuary here, it still looks relatively peaceful. Sure, there are still some strange folk running around and everything, but even so, I'm sure that will be sorted out soon enough. Die. <laughs> Well, the good news is, uh, since we're going backwards and going through this, uh, early part of the game again, um, the enemies here won't be of a major threat whatsoever. In fact, we, ju we can just run right past them. And if they run into us, they'll just instantly die. And that couldn't make me any happier. Since, uh, we don't have to fight anyone. And we still gain the same amount of experience as we normally would. There are a few exceptions here. And it looks like uh, one of them is going to be this tree. Burn, baby! Wait, what? Oof. Well then. <laughs> well, uh... It seems as though the tree can still burst into flames, and if you're not mashing the A button fast enough, um, you could instantly die still. Which, that would be really bad. <laughs> okay. Well, now that that's out the way, looks like we finally reached a village? Or perhaps not. Surprise attack! Bye bye <laughs> May not be worth much experience right now, but uh, trust me, this does help with gaining levels later. Every little bit helps as far as gaining experience is concerned. Because we're getting just a tiny bit closer to level ups for everyone. Which is really nice to see. And perhaps when we reach Foresight, we may even encounter a new friend. We'll see. We'll see for sure if that's the case. Anywho, before we head on over to the right and see what the cave is all about, I wonder if I can, uh... Whoa, Mr. Saturn? Hi, you! Okay. Huh. That's pretty neat. I guess since uh, I saved the Mr. Saturn village in the last session, some of them have moved over to new houses in the previous towns. Okay. All right. It's also a pretty good idea to come through here and rest up every now and again. Seriously, there are free places to stay and rest is better than paying like 200 plus dollars to stay in a freaking hotel. That is questionable at best, if you know what I mean. Oh, and here's a doctor. <laughs> okay, that's pretty neat. I would like to find a telephone someplace near here, maybe. Can you let me out? Thank you. Happy happy religious group has broken up. The building is temporarily closed. Perhaps it's because the building is now being converted into a church. And uh, what kind of church is it exactly? Food stand is going out of business due to personal reasons. Huh. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Why is this building still blue? It's weird. Kind of like the rest of this town. When it was infested by the blue, happy, happy religious group. 
Okay. Here we are. Finally found the frickin' phone. Thanks for the money, man. Highly appreciate it. And there we go. Progress is recorded up to this point. So now, let's head inside here. I'm a changed person. I'm no longer a believer in happy happyism. Anyway, I'm very curious about the place that lies ahead of here. Me too. I'm gonna go check it out. Perhaps in here we'll find, uh... Hello. A new enemy. And it's dead. <laughs> uh... <coughs> oh my. Mm, just had a hiccup for a moment there. Goodbye. I don't even know what those enemies are like. Probably because I never came through here. Guess we'll find out now. It's a mole playing rough. Okay. Pretty interesting name for a mole. And it's dead. <laughs> Great, now I got the hiccups. <sighs> Hopefully this doesn't continue for very long, but we'll see. All right, let's fight Mr. Batty. <laughs> Funny name for a bat. It's quite batty. Although, uh, we'll see how, uh, batty these things truly are. That one doesn't look like they're doing that much damage, and that's just simply due to the fact that we're that much stronger. Let's see, vulnerable to paralysis. So, that's pretty sweet. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, anything down here of interest? Oh yeah. Hmm, great charm. Let's see, must be equipped to your body, on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks. Also, it adds a bit of speed. Nice. I think this uh, won't really work too well. Oh. It's literally the same thing that Paula has equipped currently. <laughs> wow. Damn. Oh well. At least there'll be something else I can sell later. So that's pretty neat. Hmm. Okay. I think what it was trying to do was... It was trying to make... Uh, be affectionate towards the bat or something? Mm -hmm. It's not like I really love bats all that much. I mean, I've actually seen a couple of bats before. When I was living in Pasadena, bats were pretty common where I lived. And uh, the bats typically come out at night, which does make sense because they're nocturnal creatures. Not only that, but... Uh, um, when bats were at my house, uh, they typically like to fly around our swimming pool. So, that was, uh, pretty interesting. And I think, uh, our dog, Buddy, at the time, um, she would, uh, try to chase a bat around and try to catch it. <laughs> Which is actually pretty funny, considering the fact that, the you know, it's still pretty funny to watch um, dogs try to chase uh, birds and stuff. Sometimes they can uh, catch the birds if they're fast enough. But most of the time they don't. But hey, I'm just saying. And it looks like my camera just crapped out. Crap. Okay. Give me just a second to fix this. Oh my god. I want properties, dang it. Cam link. Of course.
Yeah, it seems like if I move the camera the wrong way, then uh, it kind of freaks out. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have bought this particular camera. Maybe I should have gone with a more dedicated cam camcorder. But I heard really great reviews of the GoPro Hero 6. So that's the reason why I bought it. Even though when I bought the Hero 6, the Hero 7 was available, I wasn't sure about whether or not it was compatible with the Elgato Cam Link. So I decided to play it safe and go with the Hero 6 model rather than the 7 model, just due to the fact that the Hero 6 was listed under uh, OK or good compatibility with the Cam Link. And I didn't see any information whatsoever when it came to the Hero 7. I would assume that the Hero 7 is also compatible with the Elgato Cam Link, but uh, again, I didn't want to chance it and end up uh, throwing away 400 plus dollars for nothing. Which, uh, yeah, that was a lot of money just to get the camcorder. Or camera, for that matter. It was a lot of money, plus I had to buy some accessories to be able to... Uh, be able to get this set up properly. Like, I had to buy a stand, of course, a tripod, and I also had to buy a shell to put the camera in while still allowing me access to the HDMI and charging ports. Thankfully, I was able to find those on Amazon, but I had to do a lot of looking around and searching around until eventually I came across a YouTube video covering, uh, a certain device, or not a device, but rather a certain shell that uh, will allow the GoPro Hero 6 to... It'll allow me access to the ports and be able to hook that up to the Elgato Cam Link and also hold it up on, the, on its stand. Hmm, a croissant. Nice. But, yeah, that's uh, basically what I've done to try to get the Elga Elgato Cam Link and the camera up and running. And it seems like uh, it does work very well. I look a lot better than I did in my uh, webcam. Plus, it works way better with my green screen anyway, because the lighting is improved when it comes to the camera itself. It just works way better than my webcam. I mean, I can stick with my default settings on the chroma key, and it'll work just fine. Ooh, a mighty bear. Hmm. I wonder what lightning will do to it. Didn't hit anyone? Seriously? Okay, offense 29, defense 31. Okay. There we go, he's done. It's a bear. Bears are typically pretty dangerous. They may look uh, kinda cute, but only from a distance. Only from a distance are they that way. Uh, excuse me? That was bullshit. Ow. Seriously, what the actual frick was that? That was just really, really dumb. Alright, let's just go ahead and take out this frickin' bear now. It's barely a challenge. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. Ness is now level 33. His offense went up by 1, vitality by 1, maximum HP by 14, PP by 1. That is awesome. It's always really awesome to see whenever someone does achieve a level up and gain multiple stats, especially HP and PP. That's for sure. Although it can still be kind of disappointing if uh, you don't get multiple stat level ups. Okay. I was wondering if I could still get this present. Let's see. A side... Carmel? 
let's see. What does it do? Replenishes 20 PP. Okay. Well, it replenishes up to 20 PP. Also, hello, bear. And as I thought, here is the second your sanctuary. Just after this fight. Thankfully, since we know of this thing's location, this should be pretty easy. And with that, Paula has now reached level 30, making this even easier. Her offense went up by 2, maximum HP by 2, PB by 1. Well, that was kind of a lame level up, but still better than nothing. Fi you finally got here. This is the second Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Very well then, let's go. We have the Mondo Mole, and my god, this thing looks bloody. There's blood. There is blood in this game. Holy crap. How? How did they get away with this? <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining that much, but even so, it's still kind of out of place considering the other enemies and other things that uh, we dealt with in this entire game up to this point. Like seriously, what the actual frick? Uh, let's try fire and spy on you. Okay, that was ineffective. Ain't okay, vulnerable to flash and paralysis. All right. Try flash then. Really? Did not work? Are you serious? Alright, let's try that again. Oh, of course, it did nothing. Alrighty then, let's, uh. Not worry about using psychic attacks on this thing, then. To be honest, uh... To be honest, I don't even know if Flash would even do that much for me anyway. I think what it'll do, it'll just, uh... Temporarily, uh, stop the enemy dead in its tracks. But, uh... Even so, it's not like it'll, uh... Do anything that extreme. Size shield uh, echo, 24 PP, but uh, it may be worth it. Maybe not for this fight in particular, though. Yeah, especially since uh, that happened. <laughs> 1931, and Jeff is now level 29. His maximum HP went up by three, and that was lame. Whatever, at least we have the second Your Sanctuary now. Bada bing, bada boom. Sweet. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red, red cap. Ness Soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput Steps. Well, that was pretty neat. And I'm very glad we managed to uh, find the second Your Sanctuary so freaking quickly. And managed to uh, pull off a nice easy win as well. So, at least we're all caught up when it comes to, uh, your sanctuaries up to this point. We're now up to three. And the proper three, as w to be precise. So, yeah, our little detour trip is finally over. We're done here. All we need to do now is just, uh, head on out of here if I can find my way back. And then, is this it? No. Where the hell am I even going? 
Okay, I think it's this way. Yep. That sounds about right. Surprisingly, for whatever reason, it can still be pretty easy to get lost in this game. Thankfully, it's not as bad as, say, like, Quest 64, where almost everything looks the exact same. And so, you get lost more times than you can count. But, hey, I'm just saying. That's another game for another time. So, with that, the town... Happy Happy Village, as well as the second town, is now fully cleansed. They're fully cleansed, and everything is right with the world. <sighs> well, that definitely makes me feel better. It truly, truly does. Hello there, Mr. Tree. And of course, your little cohort tried to join in the party as well, but, uh, <laughs> didn't quite work. Crap. I seriously wonder, uh, how is it that the tree can burst into flames, like, instantaneously? As if it was lit up by frickin' gasoline. Well, crap. Talk about double trouble. Alright, let's uh, get this over with nice and quick. I selected the wrong frickin' spell. I meant to use healing. Whoops! Oh well. That's okay. Healing. There you go. Alright. Well, like I said, our little detour trip is now complete. We got in the second your sanctuary and got that done and over with nice and quick. So that's awesome. Next stop is Foreside. Of course, uh, these trees and whatnot are not going to make it easy. They're not going to make it easy to allow us to just simply continue on our merry way. They're going to put up some sort of fight here. Ow. That hurt. I hurt quite a lot, actually. I'm surprised we're even still alive right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. How did that not count as a surprise attack for the enemy? What the hell was that? Anyway, um... If you're wondering what that was about, I heard some buzzing. Like, uh, some sort of electrical problem, but, uh... Huh. It's gone now. Not sure what that was all about, but... <laughs> anyway. Now that that's done, let's continue and let's finally move forward with our adventure. Of course, before I move anywhere, I would like to stay in a hotel... Hooray! Instant win. I would like to stay in a hotel or something and fully heal up before I make my way to the desert. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, mysterious butterfly. Kinda wish you would also heal HP. But, uh, as long as it heals PP, that's okay with me. Well, despite us finding the second your sanctuary, it still seems as though, uh, some people here are still kind of crazy. And, yeah, that does kind of suck, but that's alright. That's not a big deal. It's not like they're that big of a threat anymore anyway, at least for right now. But I'm pretty sure once we reach Foreside, that will begin to change. Goodbye. Hmm. 
Okay, apparently the crazy lady here still needs to be cleansed. <laughs> Weird. Whatever. <sighs> well then, at this point now, uh... As we continue to make our way to Foreside, uh, I really don't know what else it is I really should, uh, go over and discuss. Well, uh, I guess one thing that's worth mentioning is, uh, after looking back at yesterday's stream a little bit, um, I did notice that the camera audio and everything in between was perfectly in sync again, so that's pretty nice. Everything is back the way it should be. Okay, where's the hotel? That way. Okay. I wonder how much it costs to stay here now. $180. Okay. At least it doesn't cost that much more right now, but... All right, let's rest up. There we go. And with that, we're fully restored and ready to go. Ready for anything. Also, thanks for the money, man. I highly appreciate it. Tailbone still hurts from yesterday's fall. And let me tell you, it was not fun falling down those stairs. Oh, hello, instant memory. Fuzzy pickles. Thanks, man. If I have to guess, maybe these uh, instant photographs will also uh, appear in the credits. Who knows? The town is at peace, but my wife and kids won't speak to me. What's the problem? The monsters are no longer in the tunnel. Great. It became really quite... It became really quite peaceful compared to before. Now you can go through the tunnel anytime you want. That round flying object, a kid with glasses was, was on board. The craft landed near the graveyard, right? Can you fix it? Maybe. It was heavily damaged though, right? Yeah, it was. You made our lives peaceful. I can sleep again. It's like you used a bunch of peace paper, right? <laughs> uh, actually, that's exactly what I did, except it was known as sticky paper. Anywho, uh, let's get ready to head on out to Foreside. Foreside shouldn't be that big of a trek. Granted, the tunnel is, uh, all the way down here. Right? That would be correct. I wonder what's in here first. Oh, it's just an empty house. <laughs> Wish we could just rest there for free, no problem, but nope, that's not how it works. Alright, let's head on out. I bet you if you tried to go through this tunnel and try to head to four side before freeing freed, then uh, you would be forced back here. I mean, forced back into uh, threed. Alright, here we are. Welcome to the desert. At least we will be in the desert in just a second. I gotta say, this ride, this walk is sure lasting a long, long time. Alright, now we're in the desert. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that's a pretty nice uh, detail. It looks as though, uh, uh, as we're walking through the desert, uh, Ness and friends start sweating. That does make sense since the desert is typically the hottest place on Earth. There we go. Not worth very much experience now, but uh, even so. Oh, hello, drug shop. Hello there, how may I help you? Um, let's see what you've got. Let's see, a wet towel, uh, refreshing herb, calorie stick, and blah, 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 blah. We are almost running it in, mister. It's $210 a night. Wow. Okay, screw you. That's probably for the best. You see, our beds are really old and dusty. <laughs> wow, great uh, business model there, dude. Yeah, take it, please. And let's see what you got for sale. Mr. Baseball Bat, a thick frying pan, deluxe frying pan, silver bracelet, and coin of slumber. Wow, that is awesome. Let's see. 498 plus 1500. That's 1998. <laughs> Alrighty then. I guess I'll be taking out two grand. Thank you. I will be buying this baseball back. Thank you very much. Whoops. Sell. I'm going to sell this bomb. There we go. That would be me. 91 to 97. Oh yeah. Give me. And yes. And coin of slumber. Yes. Wow, what a massive difference for Jeff's defense. Yes, please, thank you. Alrighty. Before we head on out. I'm just going to go ahead and deposit some cash and record my progress. Thanks for the money, dude. It may only be $36, but any money's better than nothing. I seriously wonder how is it that uh, Ness's father is able to automatically transfer money into Ness's bank account? Is there some sort of uh, auto-transfer feature? Whoa, what is this? Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. <laughs> I feel sorry for the guys behind me. I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. The traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go. <laughs> there is a drugstore over there. You could probably go over there. I heard that a little ways ahead is that herd of buffalo is running across the road. I can't move an inch. Wow, a buffalo stampede. There's a buffalo stampede going on. I was going to see my girlfriend in Foresight. At this pace, it'll, I'll be 100 years old by the time I get there. Well then. It seems as though uh, our way to Foresight is kind of blocked off due to a freaking buffalo stampede and a traffic jam. So, we're going to have to find another way around. Shh, don't talk too loud. What What do you want? What do you got? Ooh, zip gun. A bomb, bottle rocket, and a rust prompter. Um, I'm going to buy the zip gun right after I get my money back. 
So, according to this, I need like four hundred and twenty-five dollars. So, boom. There we go. All better. You know what they say, money makes the world go round. Well, that's actually not true. It's love that makes the world go round. There you go. Awesome. Jeff's offense changed from 53 to 69. Damn, what a dirty, dirty boy. Woohoo! Uh. Excellent. Glad we could work something out. Nope, we're done here. Alright, let's take a look around and see what we can find. And it looks like the desert is going to be a bit of a... What the hell? Okay. Ah, oh, so that's what happens. As you're exploring the desert, uh, there's a chance you can get sunstroke. And if that happens, then, uh, it acts like poison. The hell? Goo goo goo, welcome! Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind. And he knows everything Ta Talarama does. He made us this under the underground rooms. Okay, let's check it out. Check out this underground passage. Maybe we'll find something truly spectacular. Wow. Talarama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He is also abstain abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly, too. Please don't bother him. Too bad. Uh, of course. Well, that sucks. We can't go inside this place just yet. Perhaps we'll be able to do so once uh, we find the fourth your sanctuary. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Get back here, butterfly. Thank you. Oh, that feels better. All right, time to fight some new enemies. What looks like a freaking Zapor from uh, Super Mario and a weird dinosaur. Uh, we have the Smiling Spear and the Crested Buka. What a weird name for an enemy. Granted, that goes with the rest of the game's theme of being weird, but <laughs> eh, whatever. Let's try freezing. Spy on you. Okay, that was, uh... Let's see. Vulnerable to fire. Open to hypnosis. Okay. Who knew that fire would be effective against enemies in a frickin' desert? Make a hot place even hotter. That does make sense, but at the same time, it's also kind of strange. Ow! Okay, what? Wow. Okay, that's unfair. Wow, both Jess and Paula are dead. Damn. Well, this definitely isn't good. Considering the fact that uh, this is only the first couple of enemies here, and both of my friends are dead. Well, at least Ness got a truckload of experience there, but still, man, come on. Plus, there isn't a doctor for miles. So, <laughs> it looks as though I'm going to have to run all the way back to, uh, three in order to get to the nearest hospital. Wow, that is freaking lame. 
Like, there is no doctor anywhere near uh, where I am currently. And even if I would die, then that would mean uh, I would have to go all the way back to three in order to fully heal my friends and myself. So, it may not even be worth uh, recording your progress in the desert because of the fact that there's no doctor anywhere within the general vicinity. So, yeah, that is just really lame. I kind of wish that the butterfly would also bring back my friends. Even if it's just for like 1 HP or something. Any health would be better than no health. That's for sure. And the hospital's over there. Let's see. Can I go to an ATM? And, uh, of course not. I was wondering if I could uh, find an ATM in the frickin' bakery, but no. No, there's no ATM in the bakery at, at all, and there never will be. And that really, really sucks. Alright, time to get out some cash. So if I have to guess, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna take out $400. The reason why I'm doing that is because since the price increased for a hotel stay recently, I'm going to guess the price has also increased significantly for hospital stays. So I might as well be prepared for the worst. Okay, it's still 120, so that was kind of pointless. Alrighty then, at least that's done and over with nice and quick. Okay. So, like I said, I'm just going to go back to the hotel here, Threed. So that way I can uh, not only record my progress, but also mark my save point marker. And... The reason why I'm doing it is so that way I can easily just get back to where I need to be very, very quickly. Well, not necessarily quickly due to the due to my location. Excuse me, but more so due to uh, due to the fact that if I end up dying. Which is very, very likely, if I do die, I can quickly go to the nearest hospital, which is here in Threed. I really hate the fact that the, the desert has no hospital. That does make sense, considering uh, hospitals are not that common in the desert anyway. <laughs> I mean, sure, sunstroke is still a thing, and it's a pretty big issue. But, even so... Still kind of annoying, if you ask me. And it also really, really sucks that we have to do a lot of walking in order to get back to where we need to be. Seriously, trying to open and close a bottle one-handed is a pretty big pain in the butt. Alright, let's get back to this. Off we go. Back to the desert we go. Okay. Hopefully these buttholes won't kill us super easily this time. But we'll see. Right here we have a scorpion. It looks like a freaking scorpion. I think it's known as a scorpion. 
I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, this is Skelpian. <laughs> In fact, because because of the fact that the it is a a Sculpian and uh, the face kind of looks like Sans from Undertale. I'm dead serious. It looks so much like him. <laughs> Just minus the eye color and everything. Just saying. That's kind of creeping me out. I wonder if it's a signification of me having a bad time. And that's what I'm going to have while exploring the desert. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. Double burger. Ooh. If I have to guess, the uh, double burger will heal a ton of HP after eating it. Hello there, Mr. Skull. And what is that? It's a cute little UFO. <laughs> Those bunny ears look like the ones that Louise wears in uh, Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Granted, uh, this came out well before uh, that show even came to existence, but... Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. Definitely glad I kept on the Franklin badge. Otherwise, uh, that would have been some serious pain. Ooh, what do we have? Bag of fries. Awesome! You know what goes really good with a bag of fries? Either ketchup or barbecue sauce. Ranch dressing also uh, goes really well with uh, that those things as well. It really, really does, if you think about it. Basically, any sort of uh, topping, such as ranch, uh, barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, anything can go with fries. Though, I'm not the biggest fan of the mustard, though. Mustard is just not my thing. I really don't like the taste that much. Except honey mustard. That one's pretty good. But not as good as barbecue sauce, ranch dressing, or ketchup. But that's just me. Um, what did I just receive? I don't even rem remember. Dang it. Well, whatever. I received something new. Whatever it was, uh, I'm sure it will be of some use. And freeze you. There you go. <laughs> I wonder if the Franklin badge is applied to all party members in the party, or if it j is just applied to Ness. Since he's the one who's carrying the thing... I seriously wonder if he's the only one who can deflect lightning. Ooh, what we got? Another double burger. Nice. Whoa, what's this? Spotted something shiny. Set of contact lenses. Okay. Well then, I guess I will uh, eat this double burger then. I think I will give it to Paula since she's lowest on HP. Let's see here. What do the contact lenses do? Wait. Where are they? Uh, Rust prompter, red ribbon, protractor. Oh, Ness has the contact lenses. Contact lenses. It must belong to someone. I wonder who. I guess we'll find that out maybe when we reach Foresight. We'll see. Anywho, we have here a desert wolf. Are there wolves in the desert? Because I'm pretty sure it's home to like roadrunners and coyotes. As well as vultures. Not so sure about uh, desert wolves, though. Though, uh, 
Wolves and coyotes do look kind of similar, but not really. Let's see, vulnerable to fire and freezing. Awesome. Bye bye. There we go. <laughs> That's what I like to see. What's this? I lost a pair of contact lenses here in the dusty dunes desert. They were a memento from my grandma and very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me and I'll give you a reward. I'm Penatella Giovanni. Find me at the Foresight Bakery second floor. Okay, cool. At least now we know who we need to send it to. Give that the uh, contact lenses to. And eventually uh, we'll reach Foresight, though it is going to take some time before we can even get there. We'll see, though. A loud, piercing howl. Well, that typically means that the wolf is about to attack and do some serious damage. So we better get rid of him as soon as we possibly can. There we go. He's done. Why is it that these uh, weird dinosaur creatures looks, look the way they do? And why does it look uh, like a dinosaur? I don't even know why. <laughs> uh, like I said, the whole game is freaking weird. Oh wow. Looks like we have a desert wolf and it looks like a buffalo was trying to... Uh, Trying to attack us. Thankfully, it didn't quite make it to us in time before the battle began. Here we go. Alright, and with that, Ness has now reached level 34. His offense went up by 2, defense by 1, speed by 1, luck by 2, maximum HP by 3, PP by 2. And he's realized the power of shield beta. Nice. So, what is shield beta exactly? Well, if I have to guess, um, what it'll do is it uh, basically is a better version of the shield. Let's see. It protects one person with a powerful shield. Cuts damage in half and some of the... And some of the block damage is dealt back to the enemy. And it uses a different shield. Also, using a different shield will cancel these effects. Interesting. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Definitely will be of some use later. Let's see. Psy PSI Caramel. Oh, too much stuff. Again... All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and eat this devil burger. <sighs> when you have too much stuff, uh, see if you can eat something. And if you can, great. Go ahead and eat it. Speaking of which, we're going to have to do that right now. Use and give that to Paula. Sudden Guts Pill. Wow. Pretty nice. Oh, hello there. <laughs> you don't look too kind today. Let's fix that, shall we? <laughs> there you go. It was defeated. And not tame like uh, every other creature whom we fought up to this point. Which is pretty interesting. Great. Now we got a pretty big party going on here in the freaking weekend. It's definitely going to be interesting to say the least. Oh, 
Oh my god. Really? How did you miss? Okay. Dang, man, that took forever. Uh oh. Ouch. Well, Jeff is dead. Damn it. Uh, I really have no idea what it is I should do. There. At least we got the Paula back up on her feet a little bit here. Try fire. Okay. Oh crap, that hurts. Well, damn. Wow. That was really, really bad. Life noodles. Give it to Ness. See what happens. Okay, so life noodles can bring back the dead. That's pretty awesome. That would make sense given its namesake. But even so, though... There you go. Jesus! That was way too close. All right. We have a cookie. Paula is now level 31. Somehow. Her offense went up by two, speed by one, maximum HP by one, PP by one, and she realized the power of psychic freeze, uh, whatever that symbol is. I don't even know what it is, and, uh, I guess we'll figure that out in due time. Use Paula. I'm pretty sure at some point, uh, Ness will learn the power of, uh, being able to revive people from the dead. That would be awesome if he could learn such an ability. Alright. Now, before we head into the tunnel to Foreside, I would like to check this out. What's this? I'm Big Brother Pancho. I'm Kid Brother Pinko. I'm Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> I'm a broken slot machine. But the Sanchez brothers and their friend are very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Sure. Dang it. Well, that's kind of sad. Desert. <laughs> yeah, great name for the desert. It's just called Desert. Might as well call it Dessert Land or something. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? Oh. We're already back at the drugstore? Well, it looks like the traffic jam completely cleared up. So that's awesome to see. So if I have to guess, since we ran all around the desert, we, uh... We also made it so the traffic jam was completely cleared out. So that's pretty awesome. All right, let's head on into Foreside, folks. After another really long walk through the Tunnel of Doom. All right, wow, 
I gotta say, that's pretty impressive to have the water reflection like this. <laughs> and this was back uh, in... What year did this game come out again? Well, whatever. It was pretty impressive for the time. It's a pretty awesome looking graphical illusion. Even though it's just a couple of layers of uh, graphical prowess, even so, it's still pretty interesting and cool to see. Anywho, welcome to Foreside. Uh, looks like uh, the department store is in the Empire State Building. The hotel is over there on the left. And the hospital is all the way over there. Cool. Okay. So at least with uh, Foreside here, we can head into the hotel and uh, m grab a few bucks. $120 just to bring back Jeff again. And, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Well, uh, we may have had a few uh, roadblocks in the desert, but uh, at the very least, at least we made it through alive, for the most part. Minus uh, Jeff's uh, unconscious body. <laughs> kind of reminds me a bit of Donald from Kingdom Hearts. How, uh, most of the time it just seems like he's just always dead. <laughs> uh, just saying. Jeff. 150? Wow. <laughs> I would have had enough money, too, if I didn't play the damn slot machine. God damn it. <laughs> That is so freaking stupid! Why? Why did the price have to increase so significantly? What's this? Monoly. Huh. Neat. Temporarily closed card! Come on, man. I wonder why the department store closed. Me too. When Ma Monotol became the owner, the department store began having strange happenings. Strange things are happening to me. <laughs> Dinosaur Museum. We'll have to check that out later. When we got Topla. It looks like a pizza store. No, it's not. It's a jazz studio? Well, it looks as though uh, there's not very many places we can really go into at this time. Except the hotel. But, uh... Hey. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, withdraw. And... A, no, that's too much. There we go. One dollar. Ah. So freaking lame that the prices just keep increasing the more what well, we're fighting a taxi it's a mad taxi let me guess there's another variant of the mad taxi known as the crazy taxi <laughs> hey hey come on over have some fun with mad taxi <laughs> oh my god uh, let's see. Let's try thunder! Oh, shit, that hurt. Wow, of course it didn't hit anyone. Oh, come on! Totally scrapped. Phew, Jesus! That was a pain in the ass. And that was way too close. Paula nearly died again. Phew. Way too close. Better heal her before another mad taxi comes in and completely wrecks her face in. Uh, a cafe. I'll check that out later. Is that guy holding a bottle of beer? No one knows anything. Urgh. 
monitor is totally stole everything from me, including my house and land. <laughs> they are evil incarnate lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Monotol. They all—they're all his toadies. No matter how you fight them, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me here to cry on my cappuccino. Cappuccino. Nosy. <laughs> so, in order to get around the sensors, despite it look like that he's holding a bottle of beer or just a glass of beer, he's drinking a cappuccino. Pretty clever, but still doesn't disguise the fact that he's drinking beer. There you go. Ugh, man, that was absolutely painful. That's for sure. Well, I'm most certainly glad that uh, we finally managed to get Jeff back up on his feet about frickin' time, too. <laughs> and this time, he's in the mood. He can fly real high with his jetpack on, whip his pistols out. He's one tough man. He'll make you smile when he plays his tune, but Kremlings beware, cause he's after you. Huh. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on, man. I gotta have a little bit of fun here. <laughs> Other than the game itself. <laughs> Even so. Still worth a good laugh. Okay. Well, now that that's done and out the way, um, I guess I will check out the cafe after I record my progress here in the foreside because <laughs> given the fact that the town is kind of uh, crazy and given the fact that even the people here are going a bit insane, we have an annoying revealer. <laughs> that would make sense. Let's set him on fire. That would make sense. Burn, baby. Okay. Let's see. Okay, he has no vulnerabilities. There we go. It seems as though, uh... Freezing. If uh, an enemy has multiple vulnerabilities or none at all, freezing is stronger than fire. It kind of makes sense since uh, freezing only attacks a single target, while fire can attack a single row. 2177. Okay. Record my progress, please, and thank you. Okay, how much does it cost to stay here? Two hundred some dollars. Two twenty-five. Uh, okay then. Withdraw. Dang it! Ah, uh, did not mean to quite do that. Well, I will say this. Even though uh, you're carrying uh, some cash around, you always have a uh, single whole increment. So, uh, oh, Jeff fixed a broken laser and it became a laser gun. Awesome. Let's check it out. Laser gun. I wonder if uh, Jeff's uh, laser gun's more powerful. Indeed it is. So it was definitely worth uh, keeping, that's for sure. That's good to see. Definitely makes me happy knowing that that's even there. All right. Let's read the local news. 
Good morning, this is a unique service, as exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline. On the front page of the Foresight Post, over 70% of Foresight citizens support Montauk. Uh, are you sure he's not named Donald Trump? Seriously, why is he not named Donald Trump? <laughs> And I don't think I'm going to be going any further than that, because that would be entering PC territory. And that is a big no-no, especially with today's uh, YouTube economy and how it is. Planning meeting for, planning meeting for Earthbound 2. Only those who are related to this project are allowed to enter. APE Software Development Team. Earthbound 2. Um... No, there is no Earthbound 2. There's only uh, Earthbound Beginnings, a.k.a. Mother. Mother 2, which is this game, a.k.a. Earthbound, and there's also Mother 3. Still waiting for that U.S. release. Alright, let's check out the cafe. What? Does Mr. Uh, whatever come here often? Hello, time to get up. It could never happen. Well, actually, that's not true. Kids shouldn't be drinking espresso. You shouldn't be hanging around here. What? Mr. Monotol is here? You got the, that wrong, kid. It used to be Monotoli's employer. Then I realized the schemes made my company go ba bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find out his secrets, so I'm spending my time here. What, watching to see if he ever drops in. I'm pretty sure this place used to be a bar in the Japanese version. But it was changed to uh, a cafe. Like a cafe like Starbucks or something in the international release. Most likely due to censorship. Just saying. I'm surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Five minus one is four, so four is left. Ah, uh, it's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made, uh, Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. <laughs> okay. Well, dang. Did not really mean to talk to you again. I was in the middle of a ca caffeine buzz, and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. The next thing I knew, someone asked who is it and really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it. <laughs> then again, he may just be completely wasted. And that's the reason why he uh, had such an episode. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah... It looks like Foresight is in a bit of trouble, as to be expected, since, uh, this is the fourth place where we need to go to. Hmm, what's this over here? There's a lot of junk like this bulletin board at the junk shop. Bust it up! Located in the back alley of the department store. Oh. Nice. Okay, I'll definitely check that out. Right after we explore the rest of the city. I'm pretty sure this uh, place, Foresight, is supposed to be based on New York City or something. Whoa. Hello there, Mad Taxi. You look kind of nasty, and I don't like you. So have a little bit of ice and just chill out, bro. <laughs> Ow! Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. 
Let's see. Vulnerable to paralysis. Oh, great. Now Paula's crying. Okay. That was easy enough, though it was pretty dangerous. Especially considering the fact that Jeff almost died again. Who are you? I'm very punctual about time and careful with money. I don't look like it, though. Well, that does make sense considering the state that you're in. Alright, who we got? Another annoying revealer. Okay. Let's freeze you instead. There we go. There we go, he's done. Uh, excuse me. Oh my, I just burped up some coffee. What's this sign doing here? What a strange looking object, and yet it's an enemy. It's a crazed sign! <laughs> Why is it even alive? Why is it crazed? What's going on here? What kind of voodoo magic is going on with this crazy town? I don't even. There you go. Oh, yeah! Gotta love that crit when I'm the one dealing it. That's for sure. Now, hopefully, if uh, Jeff levels up again soon, he'll gain some extra defense or something. Though, uh, defense really isn't uh, anything you can gain via level ups. Who are you? Come on in, we got the goods, G. What are you looking for? We have a broken gadget, broken iron, defense spray, and a rust prompter. Wow. My boy, jerk, you can't do me like that. <laughs> I don't even know what you mean. Hmm, what's that? That looks kind of mysterious. Kind of looks like something that uh, we need to investigate. So, looks like our next, next stop is going to be the sewers. Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like it isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. And that's, I'm pretty damn sure that's what it is. It's our sanctuary. The fourth one. The boy stuck to the wall may be a peeping Tom. That would, uh, make some sense. Check out this alleyway. Okay, never mind. Hello there, Mr. Policeman. Protect Mr. Montoli first. The safety of the citizens, this city comes second. <laughs> That's our job, you know. <laughs> That's bullshit. Now that is what you call a corrupt cop. And I'm not going to go any further into discussion than that. Because that is... That's a no-no. Just no. Alright, uh, before we head off to another destination, and before we check out anything else, I'm definitely going to record my progress up to this point. Thanks for the money, man. Highly appreciate it. And, oops, I forgot to record my progress. Dang it. Alright, that's done. Hmm. Well, uh, hopefully with this next battle, Jeff will finally level up. He'll finally receive a well-deserved level up here. Speaking of which, there is something I kind of wanted to check real quick with Paula. Let's see. Thunder. The enemy is thunderstruck for about 120 points of damage. You may miss when there are a few e enemies. He eliminates a psychic or a psychic power shield. Wow! So if an enemy... Hang on a second. Oh my ass! 
anyway, if an enemy has a shield of any kind, just use thunder and you can get rid of it. However, uh, thunder is only effective when there are multiple enemies on screen. Let's see. Sigh Thunder Beta still deals the same amount of points of damage, except it can strike twice, two separate times. May miss it when there are a few enemies. He eliminates a psychic or psychic power shield. Interesting. Alrighty then. Let's check out this Tupala. Do you want to buy a ticket? Sure. 30 bucks, please. Please come again. Huh. What a strange place. I wonder if this is supposed to be some sort of museum. Granted, uh, I know that uh, there's a dinosaur museum within the city, which uh, may be worth checking out. But uh, this one place here looks kind of suspicious, and I'm definitely going to take a look. There we go. All better. Okay. Butterfly, get back here. Thank you. I seriously wonder why the RNG on the butterflies are kind of uh, erratic. Like, it seems like they try to fly away from you. Like they're scared or something. Alright. Show tickets. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting at any moment. Let's check out this show, whatever it is. Hmm, what do we have in here? So you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police will probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have a to find buried gold. Or you would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 Great. It looks like the Band of Five, uh, they got themselves in even bigger trouble than they did ever before. So, <laughs> that sucks. But at least their venue looks a lot better than uh, their previous location. So that's pretty nice. When Ness arrives, the Runaway Five told me to let him in. So please, come in. Thanks, dude. We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh... Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. To meet, uh, whatever, you'll need our help. I don't exactly know why. It's just a hunch. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. da wop do do wop Okay. Can you let me out? Thank you. Alright, let's check out the show. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah! Kaboom! The Runaway Five. Yeah! Three, two, one, go!
Wow, that was a fun show. Good to see them uh, having some fun, despite them being stuck in such a phony contract. Okay, uh, anything else here? Okay. Oh, <laughs> of course. We got another show. Fantastic. Well then, I guess heading back backstage and talking to the band members again, this will uh, force another show to be seen, much like before. So what the heck is up with that, I will never know. But for right now though, uh, at least we figured out what was going on here. It looks like some sort of evil corporation has uh, risen to power. <laughs> now it kind of looks like Activision, if you know what I mean. But yeah, it looks as though uh, a evil corporation has taken over the entire city and basically bought it out. It's full of corrupt people and uh, everything is just wrong with this city. And so in order to uh, free the city and reach the next sanctuary, we're going to need to face uh, the owner of the whole dang place. And it's going to be a real fun journey. It's definitely going to be real fun, let me tell you. Just getting there is going to be the fun part. Alright, let's get going. Let's head on out of here and uh, see if we can figure out what it is we need to do. Oh, hi. Thank you. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. Well, that was fun. It was fun to see the Runaway 5 again. Now let's check out the Dinosaur mu Museum. Maybe we'll find something useful here. The Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. If you still want to see the dinosaurs, pay $5 uh, a piece for the entrance fee. Is that okay? Maybe you think $15 is too much. Or are you just not interested in dinosaurs? You're strange, kid. Well, the thing is, I don't have that $15 on hand. I have to go back to the frickin' ATM in order to withdraw more money and uh, be able to pay for the fee. So that is kind of lame. Okay, so, uh... I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and withdraw $100 and just keep it in my inventory for the time being. There we go. The reason why I did that is so uh, that way if I do need to make any future purchases, hopefully it won't cost an arm and a leg to uh, actually make those purchases. But no, in my luck it probably does. Alright, let's head into the museum. Pay our nice uh, entrance fee. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's go and, uh, see. Please enter. You'll find an academic researcher inside. Sweet. Maybe he has some information of use. Are you him? I wonder why so many animals go extinct before humans become begin beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Well, too bad. That ain't gonna happen. Huge! Not you. I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. Honestly, it, it should. How did you get in here without paying? Did you just crawl through the ventilation system and then just fall? Like, I can imagine it now, just walking in the museum, looking at the dinosaur bones, and, uh, BOOM! BOOM! Here comes the photography guy, it's like, ah, uh, eh. eh, it's nothing. 
Time for an instant memory. Say Fuzzy Pickles. <laughs> oh. And so he returns to his planet because it needs him. I must go. My planet needs me. I'm so happy there are so many visitors. There are some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've got out of my research. You want to hear more? To tell you the truth, I hear that dinosaurs were found near the lower side of, uh, Scarabia. And there were lots of them. There are un there are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the di dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. I don't blame you. Well, unfortunately, it looks like this researcher is blocking the door for the time being. And it looks like he's not going to move until uh, we get some dinosaur pictures. And uh, it looks like they only have one dinosaur here. Dinosaur bones believed to be from Southern Scarabia. Don't ask us for any de details. Our research is continuing. It's a pretty big uh, dinosaur model. And it also is kind of lame that this museum only has like one dinosaur statue. It's not much of a museum if uh, there's uh, no statue to real, no other statues to look at besides just the one. In fact, the uh, paint entrance fee is a massive pain in the butt. It's just uh, completely, utterly worthless, if you ask me. Uh, let's see here. I could have sworn there was another building I could enter here. Well, other than uh, this place. Your boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotol Toy, are you? Aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you, no questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Ness? <laughs> I have already checked out your name. I seriously wonder how. Perhaps he has my name on record. Last night, there was a solitaire tour tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait. Do you even know what solitaire is? Actually, I do. It's a pretty uh, fun little card game, actually, that you can play alone. And it comes with basically every version of Windows that there is. I think starting with uh, version 3.0. And... It was included until uh, Windows 8.1, and then it was excluded in 10. And so you would have to download that game again from the Windows Store. And, yeah. It's a pretty fun game to play during your pa downtime. Okay, let's go ahead and record our progress. Alright, that's done. I'm an elite businessman who works for Mr. Monotoy's office. Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monotoy building? Well, I kind of want to check this building out. The elevator is only for Master Pokey's, Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead, or behi instead of behind me? Well, okay. I guess we'll be riding the elevator then. I wonder where we are. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. Ooh. Whoops. <laughs> I was a... Almost going to beat you up. Oh, dear. That wouldn't have been good. Let's check this place out. Hello, you look familiar. Ooh la la. This, this is my poor old friend. Ah, uh, what's your name? Pig's butt. <laughs> no, no, Ness. 
Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey. Get it? I'm now... Uh... Jelagarde Montori's partner? And I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser! Well then, I guess we'll be forced to make our leave. That stinks. You must never show your face around Mr. Master Pokey. You got that? I'm sure. I still want to check out the rest of your office. It looks like uh, there's nothing here. Okay, then. I'm pretty sure Master Pokey is porky. He just has that face. You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm all... Leo, I'm Alicia's uh, Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Ha 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 Oh, my jaw is tired. Well then, <laughs> Mr. Rich Man, you have fun doing you. I'm going to continue to explore this place from top to bottom. Private elevator, not for operating by the general public. Monotone building manager. Well then. I'm pretty sure that elevator will take us to Monotoli right away. You won't get away from me, kid. Get away from me, kid. Uh. Okay. Alrighty then. I guess we'll uh, head out of here for right now. <sighs> sure, whatever. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we can't really do much here. Elevator, elevator's going down. Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. I'm pretty sure you don't stare at the hips of a woman, if you know what I mean. You need to look a little bit further upstairs. Towards the head. Just saying. I'm dead serious when I say that too. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, we can't really do much with the, that building there. At least not yet. Oh, hello, Mad Taxi. Why are you even here? Why must you ruin my day? Oof, 87 HP. At least this will give us enough uh, damage to, uh, or enough experience to level up Jeff finally, if he survives. There we go, it's done. 779. Jeff is now finally level 30. His offense went up by 2, maximum HP by 3. Not much, but it's better than, enough, better than nothing, that's for sure. Okay, so, uh, it appears as though, uh, in order to progress, we're gonna need to find a way to free the, the Runaway 5 once again. Not only that, but, uh, there may be some other places that are worth looking into as well. Primarily figuring out how we can, uh, get to the sewer system. Because it looks like, uh, 
in order to reach such a place, uh, we need to go deep underground. Or uh, we may even be able to do something about the main corporate building here in Vorside. But uh, we'll figure that out in due time. Just by simply playing through the game and figuring things out on our own. It's, yeah. it's definitely worth uh, running around the city and uh, taking a look at uh, everything that the place has to offer. Right now we have the extra cranky lady. <laughs> wow. Okay, apparently she's not had her coffee this morning. Believe me, whenever a woman wakes up in the morning, she is a literal zombie. Give them coffee as soon as they wake up in order to turn them back to normal. <laughs> uh, if you couldn't tell, that was a joke. First floor, four side bakery. Second floor, second floor of the bakery. Well, speaking of the bakery, uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn in these contact lenses. I was thinking there was a tight, there was a tight wad born every minute. Okay. Um, here you go. What? You came to deliver my grandma's memento to the contact lenses? Thank you. Thank you so much. This is our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks that I use only for special occasions. I've worn these socks for just five years. There, there are no holes and they've only been worn once since the last washing. They stink a little, but they're still good. Hey, don't refuse me here. I'm being generous. Okay, thanks for the socks. Please take good care of my socks. I guess we'll check those out real quick. Pair of dirty socks. When used during battle, the enemy gets so nauseous from the ripe odor they cannot fight. Gone after one year. Well then. Was that really worth the reward? To be honest, I don't think it was. It really, really wasn't. But... It may still be of use elsewhere. In the old days, Mr. Monotoli was just a regular, an attractive real estate agent. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think that the city of Forsyth is better than before. In fact, I think it's even worse. It really is worse than it has ever been before. Blah. Blah. Bleh! <laughs> open up, open up. It's bleh! <laughs> okay, I'm having a little too much fun here. Um, was that an indication of uh, a hint? I have no idea. Okay, well, at this point now, I guess I'm going to be running around the city for a bit until I can find uh, something of major interest, like a, a sewer pipe that I can uh, climb down in. Perhaps there's something that I just didn't see. There's no way I can uh, get my hands on a million dollars right now and free the Runaway 5. Uh, excuse me, at least for the time being. Although, I've never been here yet. It looks like Central Park. I don't get it. I hear that guy who looks like Monotoli has been hanging around that Jackie's Cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place? I heard he quite quietly goes in and out. Interesting. Perhaps uh, that's something I need to investigate? We'll see. We'll definitely see. I heard some bad rumors about Mr. Monotoli. I heard he made a deal with 
a pure evil entity in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> that would make sense how we uh, came to be. Oh, hello, we have a hint stall. Now, wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just $75. Would you like a hint? Yes, please. In the middle of Dusty Dunes Desert, there is something. There is someone who's starving. I just sense it. That's it for today. Okay, so, uh... Since someone is starving in the middle of the desert, um... I might be able to give someone, uh, something of use. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Paula has a bag of fries that she can give to the person in the desert. All right. Perhaps. Oh, my butt. Thanks for the money, man. Highly appreciate it. All right. Well, then, with that, I guess we'll be heading back to the desert now. I know it seems kind of counterintuitive that we have to do that, but uh, according to the hint, that's what we need to do. We need to uh, head back to the desert and uh, feed someone who's hungry. If I have to guess, perhaps it was that old man whom uh, we've previously interacted with who is trying to become a sage of a monkey village or something. I'm not too sure. I feel like he's the one who I need to talk to and feed the sandwich or uh, feed him with. Then again, if uh, he's not the one and I accidentally eat what I have, then, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do. I really, really don't know. I guess we'll figure that out in due time. Then again, uh, maybe he's four side. Okay. Huh. I just noticed this, but, uh, as Ness and his friends are traversing the desert, they do have a chance of getting sunstroke. However, if they're traversing through the road, then they're perfectly fine. Nothing happens. So what the heck is up with that? I will never know. It's kind of, uh, weird, if you ask me. Also, present. Hello. $1,000 and a Frickin present? Holy crap! That's a lot of cash. Well then. That's pretty awesome to see. Free money in a frickin' box. <laughs> Who would leave behind such a gift? Perhaps it's our rich dad. Who knows? Or it could be that mysterious photographer who follows us everywhere we go. Hey, who are you? The hole's great. Good hole, good hole, good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, I was starved. Man, am I starving. Do you have any food you can spare? Yeah, I do. Seems like you have a lot of stuff. What are you going to give me? Here's some fries. Thank you. I'll find the gold. I'll, if I find the gold, I'll give it to you. Sounds good to me. Dusty Dunes headquarters for finding buried gold. Let's check out the building. See what's inside. It's a small house, but please stay the night. Sure thing. Thanks. Thanks for the free stay. And wow, would you look at that. A freaking telephone in the middle of the floor. So what the heck is up with this? That is so weird. All right. Whoa, what, what is this? The hole became a freaking canyon. That's insane. Let's check it out. But then again, 
before we head over there, there's a stall over here. Out walking in the desert may, must make you very hungry and thirsty. What do you want? Let's see. Uh, how about... Nothing? I'm probably going to purchase... A... How about a wet towel? Okay. And I think I will also purchase a... Picnic lunch. That'll do. What the heck? Hello? Oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna rest anytime soon. No way. No way, no how. Hello, sir. I don't have a problem digging until I... Until this, I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm helpless to really do anything. Okay, then. We'll take care of the problem for you. So, let's go ahead and get things started. First off, we have a thirsty coil snake. Well, whatever this thing is, it looks kind of nasty and ugly. Let's see. Vulnerable to freezing and paralysis. Cool. At least I selected the right spell. Oh, shoot! Damn! Well, that's not good. Freeze! You fool! Phew! That was close! I thought Paula was going to die for sure. Here. There we go. She's back up on her feet now, at least. Although, is she fully healed? Not quite, but she still has a pretty decent amount of HP. Hmm, what's over here? Well, first off, we have this snake here, which is kind of, uh, disturbing. I'm gonna try, uh, Freeze Beta. That was easy enough. <laughs> I didn't want to use the latest version, because that would have been complete overkill. Anywho, the enemy left a present. We have a chick. A chick. Really? Well, that's cute. One thing I'm kind of wondering, though, is... Can you sell chickens for a decent price? That's what I'd like to know. There you go. There we are. I just wonder which way should I go here. I think I'm going to head this way first and see where it takes me. If this takes me to progression, then I may start making my way the other in the other direction. Okay. There we go. He's done. I'm glad that Paula is able to take it down in one shot with the beta variation of, uh, of, uh, PK Freeze, or Psychic Freeze, rather. Whoa, what is this? We have some mad ducks and a noose man. <laughs> a noose! I said the moose. I'll put him in the noose. We support the death penalty. Penalty. No PP, of course. Why? Every freaking enemy we fought here has no freaking PP. That's so stupid. How did you mess? 
Ow! Let's try laying you on fire. Burn, baby! Okay, that was not the most effective thing ever. Eh, whatever. At least he's down and out. Still, though, that was pretty damn, uh, extreme. I'm one of the masters of this whole... There are five masters in all. We're all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. Oh, dear. We have the third guardian digger. So, <laughs> uh, this is definitely going to be a fun battle, that's for sure. Considering the fact that the... Alright, let's try Scythe Thunk freeze that get a load of ass 367 not bad and he's down and out immediately nice Paula is a beast 5767 and with that Ness is now level 35 his offense went up by two guts by one vitality by one maximum HP by 12 maximum PP by two and that is a double level up. Paula's now level 32. Her offense went up by 2. Defense by 2. Oh baby. Her speed went up by 3. Guts by 1. Vitality by 2. And IQ by 3. Luck by 2. Maximum HP by 17. And maximum PP by 12. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Well. Since I have too much stuff here, might as well make use of this picnic lunch. And I think I will give it to Paula. Alright. IQ capsule. I think this is the one that increases your IQ. Yeah, it is. Use Paula. Awesome. Okay then, since uh, that was a thing, whoops, that was the wrong way. I want to go back up, please, thank you. Since we encountered the third uh, mole, guardian mole, the other two must be in this direction. I'll definitely check this area out for sure. Do you have any PP? No, of course not. Mm. It seems as though uh, this uh, snake here doesn't have uh, very much going for it. There we go. Like I was saying, the snake doesn't seem to be that strong. But uh, then again, it does have that crit chance. Okay, I went that way already. So, at least this hole brought me to uh, brought me to where I was previously going to go anyway. So that's pretty nice. All right, let's continue to make our way through this place. Quite a big underground area, if I do say so myself. There's uh, quite a large number of enemies that are just roaming around the place. There we go. Alright, a present. What do we have? Another chick. <laughs> so we got two chicks here. And eventually they will turn into chickens. Which we could probably sell for a couple of bucks. <laughs> that would be pretty nice, actually. A good way to get cash in the game is just to, uh... Breed chickens. I wonder if there's a marketplace in this game for chickens. <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious if that was the case. Hmm, what have we got in here? A big bottle rocket. Well then. Uh, 
Put a salt. I will get this to Jeff. And as far as what else I'm gonna have, what I'm gonna give here, I think I will give uh, Paula the Sudden Guts pill, so that way uh, Jeff's pockets are empty just a little bit. And there we go. We're done with that. Ooh, a spider. Not just any spider, though. It's a gigantic ant. Wow. Okay, so wrong species of bug entirely. Wow. All right, let's check this out. 193, not bad. Let's see. Uh, vulnerable to fire and freezing. Okay, then. Oh, man, Paul is poisoned. Oof, 21 HP of damage from poison. God damn. Well, this is definitely something. Oh, god damn it. Let's try beta. There we go. It seems as though beta for healing is the best way to go. Except it does cost a bit more to use it. Like, 8 PP to use. But it does cure more status elements than uh, Alpha does. Though I can never really memorize uh, what the uh, Alpha can cure. It can only cure so many status elements. While Beta can cure even more. And I bet ya... Whoa, what's this? Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead to the to an exit if you're lost in the maze. Um, sure. Too many items. You can't take my son. Dang it. Try protein drink. Use this on Paula. Paula's HP is maxed out. A croissant. Picnic lunch. Ooh. Okay, who has the croissant? I thought it would be Paula since, uh... I emptied her pockets recently. I guess Ness has it, for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. Well, now that that's done and over with, let's head over here and see what's up. Ooh, hello. A secret herb. Dang, man, I hate having too much stuff in my pockets. Great for those times when you get sunstroke. All right. Try using it. Can't be used here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this. There we go. I know it seems kind of weird that I did that, but uh, uh, I, I mean, guts is pretty important, yeah, but uh, it is only good for a single battle. And if you use it at the wrong time, then uh, what good of it, what good use is it anyway? Burn, baby! Okay. What's it vulnerable to? Fire. Okay, so fire is effective against them. It just didn't seem like it. Uh, 
There we go. Paula is running a bit low on PP though, and I don't like that very much. I really don't. Hopefully we'll uh, find a way to restore some PP soon enough. Anywho, with this, Jeff is now level 31. His offense went up by one, IQ by one, maximum HP by two. All right. Not bad at all. I like that. Oh, hello. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. <laughs> sure, whatever you say. Another third uh, strongest master. And once again, uh, this guy is covered in blood. Why? Why blood of all things? Whatever. We shall cleanse this guy of his sins. Ow! 126 damage. Well, whatever. At least we managed to take him down before Ness received the full damage. So that's pretty sweet. Guts capsule. Okay. Hmm. Secret herb may revive a friend who is unconscious. In addition, it also works well on poison, nausea, cold, sunstroke, falling asleep, uncontrollable crying, and feeling strange. This is effective when you have paralysis or have been uh, diamondized. Wow. Okay, I'm definitely going to be holding on to that then. Uh... Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. Can you even use this during battle? Can be used many times. What does it do? Fairly easily figure out the angle of various things. I don't even. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this big bottle rocket. There we go. That's better. Now, there's a reason for my madness. And that reason is because I have too much freaking stuff. God, I wish these enemies had some PP. Ow. Really, dude? Bugger off. Really? You had to steal the last little bit of PP from Paula? It's not like she could have done anything that much anyway. Well, that was a pain in the butt, but at least that was enough experience to level up Paula to level 33. Her maximum HP went up by 2, maximum PP by 5, and that was it. At least that gave her a little bit more PP to work with now, so that's awesome to see. Okay. Wow, we got a big party in here. Very big. Alright, let's get this over with. Hopefully we can get through it nice and quick. Of course, Jeff is poisoned. Really, dude? I kind of wish I had some items that restore PP at this point. To be honest, I probably should empty Paula's pockets so that way she has PP restoring items. But it seems as though that's not going to be happening anytime soon. But with that, let, 
Ness is now level 36. His offense went up by 4. And defense went up by 3. Speed by 2. Guts by 2. Vitality by 1. IQ by 2. Luck by 2. Maximum HP by 15. PP by 15. I mean 5. I almost said 15 again. That was definitely not the right number, but whatever. Hmm, what's in here? A teddy bear. Okay. Well, the teddy bear will give us an additional target for us to take the hits from. Might as well eat this uh, picnic lunch. 68 HP. Wow, very nice. Alrighty then. Okay, let's go. Time to fight another gigantic ant. Oh! Wow, the teddy bear is already dead. Dead. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Well, at least praying actually did something useful here. It seems as though uh, the nastier the enemy looks, uh, the worse praying will do for you. In fact, it will only cause nothing but problems. But that's not always the case here. Praying can sometimes be of good use. <laughs> Good. Didn't work. Oh, man. Of course. Now we can't stop crying. Okay, so it seems as though, uh, praying is random. It's purely random. Seriously? It didn't work on Jeff? Uh, you know what? Screw this. Everyone dies now. There you go. Dang it, man! Uh, come on! Maybe crying uncontrollably will uh, make it so your accuracy is decreased overall. But it looks as though uh, healing alpha does not do jack frickin' crap. I'm crying. Jesus. <sighs> Poison. Of course that happens. Only happens to me. I'm going to die here, aren't I? I'm going to freaking die due to a freaking ant. Yeah. Yes, I am. Because my friends can't do shit, I'm missing every freaking shot. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Damn it, man. Please do something. Okay. Jesus, that took forever.
My god, man. Why is this taking forever? Jesus! That was painful. But at least we got a truckload of experience from it. But even so, though... I'm almost thinking about trying to make a run for the exit. Now I definitely could use an escape mouse, that's for sure. Of course. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about the poison. Only thing I can really do here is just, uh... Just pray to God that we make it out alive or, uh... Try to deal with, the uh, poison as soon as we possibly can. Calorie stick. What does it do? When eaten, you recover about 60 HP. There we go. That's better. Unfortunately, Paula's gonna die due to me not having enough freaking PP to recover her poison. And hello. The second and fourth strongest master. My strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. Do you want to test me? Not like I have much of a choice here. Alright, let's just keep on fighting. Fighting until the bitter end. Oh dear. Oof. Well, Paula's unfortunately dead and uh, Jeff is completely useless due to the fact that, uh, yep, he's done. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, that was absolutely painful. I couldn't really do much of anything about it, though. Just solely due to the fact that, uh... Just due to the fact that, uh, I was completely out of PP and there was nothing I could do about it. God damn it. I kind of wish I knew which items would uh, restore PP and which ones uh, only restore HP. If I knew which ones uh, did which, then I probably could have prepared better. For sure. But unfortunately, I just don't have that kind of knowledge because, like I said before, this is a blind playthrough and I have no idea what's going on here. I only know of a few things here and there. That's about it. This is all blind to me and completely new. So, I'm going to be stumbling, stumbling around quite a lot. Once I figure things out, then, uh, then things will go better for sure. Thankfully, though, uh, it looks like the chicks that uh, were in my inventory before have turned into regular chickens. And of course, a crazy lady has to appear out of gosh diddly dang nowhere. Okay, at least that's done nice and quick. Wow, 3,651 experience. Just from that fight alone. <laughs> well, granted, that is only going to Ness and not to anyone else. So, of course, he's going to get more experience since he defeated the enemy alone. Here we go. Hate the freaking high-ass doctor fees, that's for sure. They seriously can uh, suck it, dude. They really, really suck. So much. 
All right. Uh, which way is the hotel again? Oh, right there. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up my uh, death warp back at the hotel. So that way, um, if I do end up dying here, which is a pretty big possibility. Also, thanks for the sweet money, dude. Highly appreciate it. Anywho, what I was saying was... I'm setting things up here... So if I do end up dying in the tunnel again, I can just uh, return to a uh, four side and I'm that much closer to the hospital. Okay. Uh, I was like, where can I go to sell my stuff? That would be the bakery. The bakery does allow you to sell some things, which is pretty nice to see. Okay, uh... Or it does not. Damn it. Come on, man! Ugh. I guess I have to walk all the way to the desert drugstore in order to sell my crap. Because the problem is I'm carrying way too much freaking stuff. And I don't have enough room to really use anything of the sort that can uh, be of a major benefit. Or anything, really. It would also probably help if I uh, also called in uh, the pickup delivery service and uh, have them uh, hold some of my stuff. Because I think that's what I really need to do. That's what I really need to do in order to uh, empty my pockets effectively. I really wish I could move just a little bit faster without having to eat a skip sandwich. I feel like that's a bit of a waste since uh, its effect only lasts for like a few seconds. Alright. Of course before we continue and head back into that big big hole and fight those moles again, I'm definitely going to see uh, what I can sell. I'm gonna see if I can sell the chickens for a good price. Because I'm pretty sure that's, uh... Probably gonna be my best bet. Yes. Sell. And chicken. $110 for a chicken. Wow, pretty neat. Chicken. All right, great. All right, I think I'm gonna call Escargo Express now. Pick up, please. Thank you. Kind of wish the delivery service was free. I mean, granted, you can uh, have stuff delivered to you for free, but you can't uh, have it picked up for you for free. I guess that makes sense since uh, labor is a part of the equation. And since, uh, thankfully, it seems as though the delivery fee is always $18. So, that's pretty pretty nice. Alright, I'm gonna store the hard hat. Um, let's see. I will send out the red ribbon. And... I will also send out the zip gun. That is correct. Thank you very much. And I'm probably going to call the delivery service again so uh, I can 
send out even more stuff before I head back into the cave. So that way, when we do head back in, um, we should have our pockets nice and empty. Oh my god, go through please, thank you. Here we are. Okay. Pick up, please. Again. Thankfully, uh, Escargo Express doesn't take very long to get to your location. It only takes about, uh, 10 seconds or so. All right. Let's, uh, get rid of some more stuff here. I think I'm gonna get rid of the protractor. The rust prompter. And also the guts capsule. Thank you. Oh, great. Of course, sunstroke. <sighs> Wet towel and Paula. Okay. Let's see here. Um, maybe I should check out the popsicle. What does that do? I'm pretty sure that just restores some HP. I'm gonna give it to Ness. Popsicle, when eating you recover about 18 HP. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of lame. Only recovers HP, and it's not like it'll cure, uh, sunstrokeness or anything. So that's kind of lame. And that kind of makes me mad. But not really. It's not that bad. It really isn't. How did you miss, Ness? There we go. At least that's done. Alright, I'm definitely going to head back the way I came for sure. One thing I'm kind of wondering is... Those moles whom I fought before... It, do they come back to life after uh, I leave this place or if I die? I hope that's not the case. I hope they stay dead. And again... You know, in my luck, that the former is probably what happens. If you die while in here, then, uh, or if you leave this place before fighting off all the guardian moles, then they come back to life and ruin your day. So one thing I'm definitely going to do here is, once I get past this giant ant here... I'm definitely going to grab an escape mouse. So if I need to become... If I need to make a quick escape, I can. Thankfully, the mouse is right here. Yes. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. Thank you. And it looks like this guy has two mice whom you can use. So that's pretty awesome to see. And of course, that area was a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> wow, that was way too quiet. Oh, really, dude?
Burn, baby, burn. Well, it seems as though Paula is the fastest in our entire party here. So, that's pretty awesome to see. She is the fastest and acts first basically every turn, so long as she's alive and able to do things. I mean, if she isn't, oh boy, we're going to be in trouble. That would be really, really bad, that's for sure. Oh, come on with the magnet. And there we go. That's the end of the noose, man. At least it should have been. Perfect. All right, and with that, Jeff is now level 32. His offense went up by one, defense by three, Speed by 2, and Guts by 3, Vitality by 2, IQ by 1, Maximum HP by 22. Awesome. That is really awesome to see. Jeff is just becoming that much more of a useful man. Just becoming that much stronger, and that's what I like to see. Well, let's go for fire. That way we can damage both enemies in one fell swoop. Come on, leave me alone. Thank you. There we go. Whew, that was pretty dang scary. But thankfully, that wasn't that bad. Alright. Well, at least we're right back where we were before. So, let's go ahead and fight this mole that's down here. Hello there. How are you? Good to see you again. You may have kicked my ass last time, but that was because I was basically on Depp's doorstep. But now it's my turn. My turn, you fool! Time to die! Oh, damn. Oh, shit, that hurt. Phew, that was close. I had no idea the mole had a shield to begin with. But whatever, at least Ness is now level 37. His maximum HP went up by 3, and that was it. However... Paula also received a level up. She's now level 34. Her offense went up by 1, maximum HP by 2, and that's it. Wow, pretty lame level up overall. Coin the defense. Ooh. Um. First off, I'm gonna eat this. Second... I think that's something Paula can even equip, if she desires. And that is not the most useful thing ever. Okay, it looks as though, uh... The coin of defense will be useful for Ness. Oh yeah, much better. There we go. At least uh, Ness's defense is that much higher. Increased it quite a bit too. And that's what I like to see. coming to your rescue, you disgusting, filthy ant. God, I hate those 
bugger so much. <laughs> I really do. I hate ants. I'm not a fan. They're disgusting. And I hate the fact that they can come into your home during the summer and really make your place look like a pigsty. It's truly awful. There we go. I wonder, if they try to use a uh, PSI magnet, can you also use that same move to steal that PP right back? I'm pretty sure you can. Maybe? Oh, wow. Okay, that uh, brought me over there. Interesting. Guess we'll be heading down here next. Ooh, what's this? A bomb. Okay, neat. I'll definitely be using this right now. Bomb. Here you go. Hmm. Really, dude? The duck really had to dodge. Okay. 691 experience is uh, pretty nice to have. And I just realized I really should be healing Jeff right now. Hello, Mr. Noose Man. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised the Mad Ducks didn't join in the fight. That's kind of weird. I mean, they... One of them was close enough to join in, no problem, but, uh... Huh. Whatever. At least we'll be able to get through this that much faster. Good night, Mr. Noose Man. Good frickin' night. <laughs> sure, a lot of, uh ducks around here, along with noose men. There you go. Nice smack across the face. There goes the mad ducks. I'm surprised it didn't become the mighty ducks. <laughs> I'm awful. 705 experience each. Not bad. For experience, all things considered. I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. I'll demonstrate the power of being third to you. Oh, really? Guess we'll see what you truly mean. Um, freeze you. Wow, that was pathetic. Get out of here. Ooh, a luck, luck capsule. Very nice. Luck, use, and I'm going to give it to Ness. Sweet. Uh, platinum band. Ooh. What does it do? Must be equipped to, on your arm. It increases your defense. Nice. Ooh, wow. Increases it to 100. Hell yeah. Here you go, Paula. Extra defense for you, my girl. Okay. I think that's all five moles whom we've taken down. Though not in the same life. But if I have to guess... If uh, things go according to plan, then uh, we won't have to worry about the other three moles whom we previously fought up to this point. Well, crap. Ness is poisoned. Dang it, man. Whew. Dang, I hate that sh stuff. 
so much. I really, really do. Good night. Good night, Mad Duck. Sucks that you only get like 14 experience for Mad Duck now, but oh well, at least it's better than nothing. That's for sure. I still hate these gigantic ants, though. They can suck it. Okay, well that's lame. Whew. Decided to ch take a chance and see if I could, uh, just finish off the ant without having to consume any more PP. And looks like that paid off because Jeff is now level 33! His maximum HP went up by 3, and that is it. Lame. Absolutely lame. I just realized I could have just used the uh, escape mouse to try to return to the entrance of this place. There you go. Sit down, son. Although, uh, now that I think about it, uh, it might be a better idea for me to go and investigate the locations where the other guardian moles were. So that way, I know for sure that they're dead. And they stayed dead. Okay. That's done. Alright. Let's continue. And I do know that I'm at the three hour mark. Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's just uh, Mr. Digger there. He's like, yeah, these moles are a pain in the butt. Can you get rid of them for me, please? Thank you. I'm pretty sure this thing does not have any PP, unfortunately. Yep, it doesn't have any. Oh, of course, Paula got poisoned. Of course she did. So stupid! Okay. Well, at least with that, Paula's now level 35. Her offense went up by one, speed by one, luck by one, maximum HP by two. Okay. Not the most spectacular of level ups, but it's better than nothing. And hello, butterfly. Perfect timing for you to show up. Especially considering the fact that uh, Apollo is running low on PP right now. And I kind of need to get that restored. Okay, it looks like those moles are dead, and they stay dead. That's good. That's what I like to see. I'm glad that uh, I don't have to worry about fighting them again. Otherwise, ooh boy, that would not be fun. Granted, uh, since we took down the five guardian moles, there is still the master himself. And... One thing's for sure, I'm definitely going to try to get out of here before I even attempt to challenge him. In fact... Use. I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Okay. Huh. Well then. It looks as though, uh... It looks as though there's still a mole out there who was uh, uh, still strong enough to take us down a notch or two. And I feel like I have to freaking pee. Oh, broken pipes fixed. It became a shield killer. Wow, sweet. I wonder what it does. 
Shield Killer, item for Jeff. Breaks through the enemy shield during a battle. Can be used many times. Hell yeah. That's sweet. Okay, um, I think with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, end things here. The reason why is because it is getting kind of late. I'm over the three hour mark by a couple of minutes. And I feel like I have to pee like a Russian racehorse. So, yeah, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end things here. This is General Snivy with the Earthbound Blind Playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you were able to attend the live stream live, thank you for attending. Next time, we're gonna head back into that mole cave and find the last Guardian Mole whom I apparently missed. And uh, possibly figure out the mystery of Foresight and uh, free the town from the overlooking monarchy or monopoly of uh, the company that currently owns the town. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time.